just like that, we're back again. Uncle Bokow in the building. What's good, y'all? This right here is a special treat. This is called a Maldivian lemon pepper. And I guess that there's only a couple people that have got to try this yet. It's from Refining Fire Chilies. Uh, I believe this is a color variant of the Maldivian heart. And the Maldivian heart is red, of course. And it is from the Maldives. Uh, the Maldives is a group of islands uh, below Sri Lanka. So, never tried one of them, but man, thank you, Jim. That, putting, putting me on these different peppers from around the world, it's awesome. So, Maldivian lemon from Refine and Fire Chilies. fruity citrusy and it's hot it's got good heat to it wow wow it's a big pepper look at that really good I got a breakfast sandwich here I'm gonna plaster this pepper on there. Try to solo bite. Love it. I'm going to try with some food. Mmm. Fruity, citrusy, sweet. Not overly sweet. Not. Wow. It's got really good heat to it. I mean, that's, that's, I'd say that's hotter than an MOA Scotch bonnet for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I've been eating Papa Dreddy's lately and that, that there is, uh, to me right now, just as hot as a Papa Dreddy, right? It could be a little bit hotter even. Wow, that is an excellent pod. Look at it. It's like a big piece of cheese in there. Mm. Wow. That is so excellent. Guys, there's so many peppers out there that we've never tried. Um... And this would be one to grow. Um, I don't think that... I don't, I'm not sure if Jim has seeds up for that. But you can keep an eye out and keep checking. Um, he does have the red variant, the Maldivian heart. Uh, Superhotchilies.com is where you're going to go to get your isolated seeds. Woo! This pepper is nice and ripe, like fully ripe. I would bet that, like right off the vine, um, before it was fully, fully ripe like that, it would probably have a little bit more of the lemony citrus notes. But a lot of you guys know when it comes to yellow pods, when they, they're yellow, then they start to turn that orange, dark yellow type color. Um, a lot of times the citrus notes kind of shift and they go and it's just like that one what was it the lemon scorpion or something I, last year I pick it off the plant bite into one and it was lemony but if I let it ripen all the way in the plant or if I took it inside and you know it sat there on the table for a few days 
uh, it would get a little bit sweeter, those lemony notes would turn into almost a kind of orange tangerine type notes. So this is a great pod. Um, this is something that I would definitely consider growing. Yeah. It's got good heat to it. Really good heat. Um, well, I'm burning pretty good right now. Not overly, not, not, not unenjoyable hot though. Alright, we're going to do this last chunk on there. It definitely made my fast food breakfast sandwich top notch. <laughs> now, I've never tried the Maldivian heart. That's the red variant of this. Um, I bet you it's hot. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely, this is definitely habanero hot or better. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's a good pod. Mm. Strange thing is, I got the heat right off the bat when I bit into it. Um, so it is instant, but it also has a build to it. It's got a sting on the front of the tongue like a habanero almost. It's kind of got that, that habanero sting. It's completely different than like a ghost pepper and some of the super hots where, you know, they, they burn you, but they don't have that sting. It's a beautiful day here in North Kakalaki. Um, I don't know when I'll have time to upload this. I'll try to do it when I get home so you guys can see it right away. But I had to come out and get some groceries. Um, <laughs> woke up this morning and there was this much toilet paper on the roam. No water bottles, no bottles of water. And so, I don't usually get this critical, but I go grocery shopping on Saturdays and then Wednesdays. I have to go grab a couple things, which, yeah, that couple things is killing me too. I'll spend 200 to $250 on groceries on a Saturday or a Sunday by getting a jam like this. <clears throat> then I'll go to grab a couple things Wednesday. And that turns into another hundred bucks, man. This economy is, is, is messed up. Mm. Alright, guys. Maldivian lemon. Thank you, Jim. Jim from uh, Refining Fire Chilies gave me that pepper. Sorry, I'm still chewing. I got hardly any teeth, so. You know, we never used to do these eating videos when we started. <laughs> we used to just review pods. But, I apologize. There's some, you know, some people don't want to see me sit there chewing and talking with my mouth full. It's not proper etiquette for sure. But, um, anyways, um, yeah, we got other pods from Jim at the house. Um, so you guys will see me reviewing some cool stuff over the next couple days. Um, so make sure you come back and watch. Uh, I don't care about the views. I want you to uh, hear what I have to say about these peppers, though. And I think that uh, a lot of people in the chili community 
I'll just say the wide world of peppers. Um, I think they need to explore a little bit more. You know? I mean, I know I did. I was, I was stuck on just growing super hots two years ago, you know? And, uh, you know, now I'm kind of like, what do I want? You know, there's certain peppers I want. Like one of those, one of those peppers this year is uh, the Carbonara. I absolutely love them. You know, not that hot, but hey, I, I'm eating them every day. So, do what you love. Um, but there's so much out there that we don't know about. <clears throat> and uh, Duffy sent me some stuff a couple weeks ago, and I was really impressed. And I was really, it was a treat. Um, there was some flavors and some aromas in these peppers going on that I've tasted similar where it kind of brought me back you know what I'm saying there's there's times throughout my life before the internet that I would go to international markets that I would go to the New York City you know and I would try I, I've tried different peppers and, and different pepper mashes and sauces and things over the years and you know then you just never find it again so, but now with you got access, you can go to Refine and Fire Chilies and you can actually buy these isolated seeds from this stuff, from crazy stuff from all over the world. And um, you can grow it yourself and can't nobody tell you nothing. You grow it and, and you, you have a, a, just an arsenal of different flavors uh, and different heat levels for whatever you, you know, whatever you like cooking. So... I think that uh, the culinary scene is ignorant and missing out uh, on all, all these peppers. I mean, it's pathetic when you go in the grocery store and you're seeing bell peppers and poblanos and bananas and jalapenos and if you're lucky, habaneros, and most of the time those are rotten. Um, there's just so much out there, you know, and it's like, you know, they, lunchbox peppers, that's the one that... <laughs> got popular a few years back and you know they held on to those they still have those the little sweeties but you know it's like there's so much out there it's like people don't know about it and they're and they're not going to know until some of these grocers maybe you know and these food distributors take a chance and say hey you know what let's let's get some farmers to to, to grow this you know uh, different scotch bonnets or something you know different peppers and then try to sell them. I mean, I know all the high-end restaurants, if they knew about this stuff, a lot of times they might cook with it. You know? Even some of these peppers look so cool, you could garnish with them. You put a really cool-looking pot on the corner of a plate, the server just says, hey, that's hot. Just like when I used to make uh, Thai uh, uh, green curry, you know, I had a little, I had the green curry around and the scoop of rice in the middle, and I had a skewer that would have three different colored Thai peppers sticking out of the rice, you know? And I always said, hey, the, the dish was hot already. It had those Thai chilies in it, but I'd always just tell the waitresses, point to that skewer, those are hot, you know? And uh, we, people loved it, man. People loved it. People used to request extra Thai chilies and stuff. So these are chili heads, man. So Uncle Bokal, freaking love you guys. What?